I'm Joe Huang Riquelto, NMAX Director of Strategic Partnership and Policy. Welcome to our second annual Capitol Hill Champions Award Ceremony. NMAC is proud to have established two awards named after historic members of Congress, both of whom have dedicated their lives and careers to helping those who have no voice. The John Lewis Good Trouble Award and the Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality. This year, as you will soon see, NMAC will honor two towering public figures. First, receiving the Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality is HUD Secretary Marsha Fudge. During her Hill career, and now as HUD Secretary, Secretary Fudge has worked tirelessly to ensure housing opportunities for people living with HIV were not only accessible, but were available without regard to societal status. Following in the late Congressman Cummings' footprints, Secretary Fudge worked to ensure discrimination in health care for minorities was eliminated. NMAC is pleased to honor Secretary Fudge tonight. Secondly, NMAC is proud to present this year's John Lewis Good Trouble Award to House Financial Services Chairwoman Maxine Waters. As a longtime defender of civil rights, Congresswoman Waters understands that some things just cannot wait. And one of those things is justice. Justice for a community that is often ignored. Justice for a population who live in fear of bias, discrimination, injury, and yes, even death. Justice for the poor and justice for those who have been wronged by a system that has no checks or balances. NMAC recognizes that for us to end the HIV epidemic, we must also work to end discrimination in all forms. Sometimes this task commands us to get into good trouble something Congresswoman Waters is no stranger to. Also tonight, we'll hear from D.C. Delegate, the great Eleanor Holmes Norton. But to kick it all off, it is my pleasure to introduce NMAC's longtime executive director, Paul Kawada. Thank you for joining us for the 2021 Hill Champions event. I particularly want to thank NMAC's policy team for putting together this amazing event as we thank some of the heroes or sheroes in our movement. You know, I, I've, I've known Maxine Waters forever. Max, Auntie Max, as she's called by her friends, was a very dear friend of Carl Bean, my, my partner in crime. And I am so proud that we could honor Congresswoman Maxine Waters as well as Secretary Marsha Fudge. You know, housing plays such a critical role in our efforts to end the epidemic, in our efforts for people to keep maintain their health, and in our efforts to prevent the spread of HIV. And so we are honoring these two extraordinary women for their important contributions to the fight to end the epidemic. And I'm just so grateful to all of them. Thank you for joining us and have a good evening. Hi, my name is Natalie Sanchez, a Latinx constituent advisory panel member with NMAC and also community co-chair for the California Statewide HIV Planning Group. As a director of UCLA Family AIDS Network, working with families impacted by HIV AIDS. I'm keenly aware of the importance of HIV treatment, HIV prevention, and the support services that address the social determinants of health. Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also keenly aware. Since being elected to Congress in 1987, Speaker Pelosi has made HIV a central part of her career. She recognized that HIV discrimination was a leading impediment to life-saving therapeutics. She also understood the late Congressman John Lewis's fight for racial justice. This includes justice for minorities living with HIV. Speaker Pelosi has been an adamant defender of housing rights for people living with HIV. She was also an adamant supporter for the Minority AIDS Initiative, authored by Chairwoman Maxine Waters. As recipient of the inaugural John Lewis Good Trouble Award in 2020, Speaker Pelosi embodies everything Representative Lewis stood for and so does Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who herself has been known to get into good trouble. To present NMAX 2021 John Lewis 
Good Trouble Award to Congresswoman Maxine Water, I'm honored to introduce Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Hello, on behalf of the United States Congress, it is my honor to join the National Minority AIDS Council in presenting the distinguished John Lewis Good Trouble Award to my friend and colleague, Chairwoman Maxine Waters. John Lewis was the conscience of the Congress who every day taught us the importance of causing good trouble in the fight for justice. So it is fitting that today we honor a hero of the House who has long embodied his same fighting spirit. Maxine, Congress and the country thank you for being a fearless champion for all whose lives have been touched by this vicious virus, especially in underserved communities. Indeed, your Minority AIDS Initiative, which we proudly enshrined into law in 1998, has been a beacon of hope for so many patients of color who are at the highest risk but have long been unable to access care. And you have proudly led the charge year after year to secure more funding for this vital initiative and help develop many more lifelines that advance justice for the underserved. It's also a joy to see our former House colleague now, Secretary Marsha Fudge, honored with the Elijah Cummings Award in honor of her long-standing leadership on health equity and justice. And now at HUD, Marsha Fudge is overseeing the life-changing HOPWA initiative to secure affordable housing for low-income survivors. For four decades, this evil virus has taken a heavy toll, claiming too many beautiful souls here at home and around the world. But thanks to these powerhouse leaders and many more, today we are carrying on the fight to finally end the scourge of AIDS once and for all. Congratulations, Madam Chair and Madam Secretary, on these virtually deserved recognitions and best wishes for a wonderful celebration. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to receive the John Lewis Good Trouble Award. Thank you so much to my friend, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, for presenting this award to me and for all of your hard work leading our Congress as the first woman speaker of the United States House of Representatives. I'd also like to say thank you to my longtime friend, Eleanor Holmes Norton, for all of your hard work supporting health equity and civil rights for people of color from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles. I'm especially proud to receive this award from the National Minority Age Council. I would also like to thank Paul Kawada, NMAC's Executive Director, and Joe Rigalto, Director of Strategic Partnerships and Policy, whom I've known since the days when he worked for my friend, Congressman Barney Frank. Your leadership has been instrumental in the success of NMAC ever since I led efforts in Congress to establish the Minority AIDS Initiative. Back in 1998, NMAC has been working with us to expand support for this critical initiative. Together, we have succeeded in growing the initiative from an initial appropriation of $156 million in fiscal year 1999 to more than $440 million per year today. I also thank Dr. Maya Rockamore Cummings. I'm so proud that she wrote her successful dissertation on the creation of the Minority AIDS Initiative. Her dissertation will be helpful in documenting the origin of the Minority AIDS Initiative that created significant support for the minority AIDS community. Congratulations to my friend, Secretary Marsha Fudge, the recipient of the Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality. As the chair of the House Financial Services Committee, I have the privilege of working closely with her to make long overdue investments in our nation's housing infrastructure. I can think of no better recipient for this award and no better choice to lead HUD at this critical moment in our nation's history. Finally, let me just say that John Lewis was one of my dearest friends. He was a kind, courageous, and persistent civil rights leader. Our nation is forever indebted to him, and I'm forever indebted to all of you for giving me this award named after a true American icon. Thank you so very much. We choose the HIV prevention options that work for us. We get tested regularly to know our HIV status. 
We speak out when we hear people say harmful things about people with HIV. We stay on top of our HIV treatment to stay healthy and keep our partners safe. Did you take your medicine today? There's something each of us can do to stop HIV. Let's stop HIV together. Thank you for presenting these prestigious awards to my good friends and colleagues, Secretary Marsha Fudge and Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Chairwoman of the House Financial Services Committee. Maxine and I were first elected together in 1990 and served as freshmen in the 102nd session of Congress. Marsha was elected a number of years later, but worked alongside Maxine and me in the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Prog Progressive Caucus before she was asked to serve as President Biden's Secretary of Housing and Early De Development. I can think of no two women or men more deserving of recognition for their work combating the HIV epidemic. Congratulations to both of you for your many years of continued public service. Do you know your HIV status? When you do, you can take control of your sexual health. HIV self-tests give you the power to decide when and where to test. You just swab and stick it in the tube. In as little as 20 minutes, you'll know your results. I love that it's confidential and quick. It's important to know my status. It's cool to know, you know? If we all get tested, we can stop HIV together. Learn more about HIV testing, including free HIV self-tests at cdc.gov slash HIV self-testing. Hello, my name is Derek Wall, and I'm a member of NMAC's Transgender and Gender Nonconforming Constituent Advisory Panel. In addition to this, I also serve as the Executive Director for my own organization, Ubuntu Incorporated, located in Atlanta, Georgia, where we strive to create resources, programming, and opportunities for transgender people. I am honored to have been selected to say a few words about our next presenter. Dr. Maya Rockamore Cummings is no stranger to Capitol Hill, and certainly no stranger to Secretary Marsha Fudge. As the widow of Congressman Elijah Cummings, Dr. Maya Cummings is also no stranger to the HIV movement. In fact, Dr. Cummings wrote her PhD dissertation on HIV policies. Dr. Cummings, like her husband, understands that HIV discrimination occurs in all shapes and forms, including housing. Elijah Cummings fought hard against these types of discrimination because he knew that the minority community was often on the receiving end of these horrific acts. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Marsha Fudge, also understands this crisis. Here to present Secretary Marsha Fudge with the Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality, I am honored to introduce Dr. Maya Rockmore Cummings. Hello, my name is Maya Rockmore Cummings and I am the widow of the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. And I am delighted to be presenting this year's Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality to none other than his very dear friend, friend, Secretary Marsha Fudge. Now, she is also my soror, and I've got to tell you that not only uh, is she just a wonderful policymaker and leader who has just done a lot on behalf of the underdog, making sure that no matter who you are, what color you are, or where you're from, who you love, that you have the best opportunities to be the best that you can be in life because that's just simply who she is, fighting for what's right. And that is why I'm delighted to present this award because she and Elijah were not just good friends, but they shared the same values and they fought the same good fight. Speaking of fighting, I also want to send a congratulations to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Uh, as some of your audience knows, I wrote my dissertation on her and the creation of the Minority AIDS Initiative back in the 105th Congress. And I'm just delighted that she's receiving the John Lewis Good Trouble Award. She's absolutely deserving of it. And she and Secretary Fudge are, you know, basically exemplars of the best that we have in Congress, in Washington, D.C., and serving in federal government. 
So congratulations to Secretary Fudge and to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Greetings. Thank you, Sora Maya Rockymore Cummings, for that kind introduction. It is an honor to be the recipient of the Elijah Cummings Award for Minority Health Equality, an award named after the late great congressman from Baltimore, Elijah Cummings, who was also my colleague and dear friend. Throughout my legislative career, I earned a reputation of tackling the unique challenges of my district by collaborating with my colleagues across political ideologies to help low-income families, seniors, and communities across the country. For me, it was not about who was right, it was about what was right. Congressman Cummings and I share a deeply held belief that minority health equality is one of the most important social justice issues of our time. As a member of Congress and during my tenure as the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, I championed legislative policies and initiatives to end the HIV epidemic, reduce racial health disparities, promote racial justice, combat homelessness, and increase funding for essential HIV AIDS treatment and support services. I'm excited to have the opportunity to continue my long-standing personal commitment to health equity. Thank you again for this honor. Please let us remember all those whose lives have been lost and negatively impacted by this terrible disease. Let us use this 40th anniversary of the epidemic to recommit by continuing to do and be better to one another. Please stay safe and be well. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Andres Rodriguez and I serve as the advocacy coordinator here at NMEC. And I'd like to thank all of you for attending tonight's award ceremony. If there's one thing that we've learned over the past year is that we must be always looking out for one another. The love and the support of the community is what keeps us strong and committed to all of our goals. I especially want to thank NMAC's CAT members for participating tonight. A big thank you to Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Noren for her wonderful words. And a special thank you to Speaker Nancy Pelosi for her continued support of NMAC and all of our programs. You have been such an amazing beacon of hope for so many communities, and we are honored to be your ally in this fight. And of course, to our award recipients, Secretary Marsha Fudge and Chairwoman Maxine Waters. Congratulations. You have inspired countless of lives and we are grateful for all that you have done over the years. A big thank you to our presenting sponsor, Merck, and all of our sponsors. On behalf of Paul Kawada, NMAC staff, and our board of directors, I want to thank everyone for attending tonight as well as your continued support of NMAC. If you would like to know more about NMAC, all of our programs and how you can become more active in our work, kindly go to nmac.org. We'll see you next year for our third annual Hill Champions Award Ceremony. And until then, please stay safe. As the late Elijah Cummings once said, although we've come a long way, a lot more needs to be done. Thank you for joining us and have a great rest of your evening. Good night.